Here we have a magnificent pair of uh, Darwin's clownfish, so-called because they were first found off the, uh, the Darwin coast of uh, Australia. Um, they're a very, very distinct uh, clownfish because of they're strictly just black and white. Even the, uh, the fins are trimmed with a white. It looks like it's been a, a white line painted around them. As you uh, watch the video, you're going to notice on the female a small black tube um, protruding from the abdomen of the female on the center white stripe. It's about the middle of the center white stripe, uh, the female being the bigger of the two fish. This tube is called the ovipositor, and what happens with that is the eggs or ova are deposited from the tube onto the nest site, which in this case is a six inch clay flower pot. So we have the, the female that swims uh, any direction she likes but uh, mostly upside down in this instance and deposits the eggs onto the, the flower pot or the nest site. Then the male follows and fertilizes the eggs. Um, both fish at some point will take their noses and heads and push the eggs onto the nest site to make sure that they're properly adhered. The eggs uh, go through several changes over the next seven days. They start off, um, as you can see on this one, it's a, a bright orange. Uh, by day two they get a little darker going towards the brown area. Uh, day three, browner still, and you start seeing little black spots on the uh, the end of the egg, which is uh, the development of the eyes. As the days progress, the eyes become darker until about day six or seven, at which point the eyes will get a silvery sheen behind them. When you see the silvery sheen, it's imminent that the eggs are going to hatch. Um, so if you've got the opportunity to take the nest out at that time, when the two-thirds of the nest are showing silver on the eyes, that would be the time to take them out and put them into a separate container so that they hatch in the safety of their own tank. Clownfish are uh, known as protandrous her hermaphrodites, which means that when the, uh, the fry are born, they're sexless. They're neither male nor female. As they grow into juvenile, they start to fight and bicker between themselves to see who's going to be the most dominant and the next dominant and so on down the line. It's a hierarchy or pecking order if you like. Um, the most dominant fish will become the breeding female. The next most dominant fish will become the breeding male. Anything below that stays sexually inactive. Now if the female dies for some reason or another, the uh, sexually active male will change sexes and become the sexually active female. The next dominant fish down the line will then become the breeding male and the succession of the species will carry on. Amazing thing what nature can do. Once the female has uh, finished laying her eggs and made the nest, uh, the male takes over uh, looking after the eggs until hatch. The female, however, takes over the aggressive position of looking after the, f the male and the nest and the eggs. She becomes very aggressive at this point and stays that way um, for the rest of her life. Be aware that if you are going to take the nest out for the uh, hatching process, the female will attack you. Um, she's got very sharp teeth as well. Uh, taking the nest and putting it in a, a different tank for the hatching is quite easy. Get a, a tank that's got enough uh, water of the same temperature, salinity, um, that the main tank does. Take the nest from the main tank, put it into your spare tank, um, and run a rigid airline through the, uh, the plant pot so that the air bubbles blow by the eggs, not onto them, and makes the water move, which makes the eggs move, which keeps the eggs in motion, which is uh, necessary so that they don't stick together or get covered in debris or get a fungus or anything like that. So after many, many passes and several hours of uh, egg laying, the nest is finally complete. And here we're going to start to see the egg development. In the beginning, as you can see, the eggs are um, 
a bright orange would be intended by the female at this point. As the days progress, the eggs will become uh, darker in the next one. See, they're a little bit darker. The glass is getting a little bit more algae on it, but uh, you don't want to be in there too much. Uh, you may disturb the, the nest. The eggs are getting darker again, as you can see here. And in the next one, I think you're going to be able to start to see, yeah, you can see little black specks at the end of the egg. Those is the beginning of the development of the eyes. And again there. So as the days go on, uh, you're going to see more and more silver. As you can see there, it looks like white or silver behind the eyes. This is meaning that they're getting closer to um, actually hatching. Um, it's usually about day six when I I pull the nest out and put it in its own container, um, it's just so that it's easier to, to control the eggs. Here is uh, the night before the hatch. As you can see, there's still silver. There's the air wafting them in the breeze, keeping them moving so that they don't fungi or get debris on them. Um, it's just something that I do. Other people use different methods. And here is the success story. The fry um, are probably an eighth of an inch long, maybe. Uh, tiny little guys, but there's a whole herd of them. So we're calling this a complete success.